Hello, this LP3 training video is for mail and mass solicit. So by selecting menu mail, mass solicit pulls up your ability to solicit uh, customers based on certain criteria to come in and renew their loan and receive more money or other things like that. At the top of the mass solicit, you can do a, a, an ad special ad that you can create under mail and ad library these are these are little special touches that you can add uh, to any of your letters for solicitation and, and uh, collection activities uh, mainly solicitation this uh, particular ad that was chosen on default it, it falls outside of the criteria on how many characters you can have per line and then also how many lines you can have for your ad to fit correctly. So let me go ahead and we're going to print an ad on our, our mass solicit we're about to do. But I'm going to go ahead and select one that I know uh, falls under the correct criteria. Uh, how many characters wide and how many lines deep. For instance, if you're going to do Mother's Day, you could say uh, in a particular ad uh, that you can go on your mass solicits, uh, Mother's Day's here. Come to Loans Plus Your Company Name for Mother's Day Cash. Uh, next, you have how the uh, solicitation letters will print. And we're going to go ahead and do trifold. And um, you can do trifold, be in G form, 8.5 by 11. Uh, trifold allows you to print out three per page so you can stuff them in envelopes uh, with windows uh, because it will have the address on there. Save on having to do additional labels things of that nature. So we're just going to print trifold for now. Uh, that would probably be normally what you would do. Uh, renewal restrictions. Uh, leave this on yes, use configuration, same as account view offers. So whatever you would see on the customer's account as far as being able to renew uh, and your choices below, it will do the same thing here when it generates the letters. First option for choosing who the current customer base that you will do a, a solicitation to would be how much cash back the people are going to get. Maybe you have 500, 600, 800, 1,000 active customers right now and you only want to do mail solicitation for customers who will receive say more than $200 but maybe less than 500 so we're going to go ahead and put a limit on here that the solicitation letters that we're going to create through our current base of customers to try to get them to come in and renew their loan, it's going to be money they can get back between above 200 but less than 500 and we have that enabled. Due day. This is November 5th. So this would be, if you're going to solicit for this month, this would say be November 1st through 31st. It's the 5th, so you want to give, then you're going to send out this mail. So you want to give at least three days um, for the mail to get out to the customer. So we're going to be doing this mass solicitation print, say, at night or, uh, or in the morning. And it's going to go out in the next mail out, which might take two or three days to get to them. So we'll go ahead and say change this to the 8th. Give us like a three-day buffer for it to get actually to the customer. And say if they have if their payment is due between say the eighth of the month, which is the fifth now, and the eighteenth of the month, we want to solicit them if they're going to get cash back, say between two hundred and five hundred to come in and renew their loan. The credit history. This is when you're when you have accounts um, you, and in. They are all in a status of age from current, meaning they are not past due, to a one being one through 31 days past due, uh, and then 32 to 60 days past due in two month category. Maybe you only want to make get people in to renew that fall within a certain credit history with you. Any of these settings with the question mark, you can click on the question mark and it will give you a little more information. Limit accounts by credit history. So if we come over here, and we say, for instance, go to work accounts, collect accounts, and pull up a past due account.
And this particular account is past due $100 uh, since 10, 31, 20, and they're in the age of one. So one day through 31 days past due. But you can look back over over the last several payments and see that they were current, 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 fell in one to 31 days, current, current. So through the last several uh, payments, they've been great. If you're under mass solicit and you only want to solicit to people who are current or one or possibly if they fall fallen under two months but a lot of times you want to make sure that you solicit the people coming to renew their loan to pay well so current to ones is fine and the length so when you go back over here to this particular customer he's been current 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 one 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 last say six months so how far back in payments do you want to take this they've been either current to one month that particular person six so say you want to do five months back six months back that they fought they've always been either current or one through 31 days past due and, and no more do you want to uh, print past due amount on the solicitation uh, if they're past due and they can come in and renew their loan and get back on track do you want to print that past due amount that they are past due? So yes, go ahead and save this. Section here below shows the last time that the mass solicitation was run. And some customers might do this once, twice a month, maybe, you know, fifth, uh, 15th, 20th of the month, try to get people to come in early and uh, renew their loans, just uh, generate more business. So options for print for running uh, the mass solicitation are to run mass, which will generate the letters, uh, run the mass and have labels also, print labels only, or just a count of how many people will fall under these particular categories without actually generating this. And here, uh, I need to enable, which I didn't, to use the due day, which is the 8th of the, this month to the 18th. I didn't have that enabled. And if credit history, I don't have that enabled. So let me go ahead and enable that. So now that all this criteria will be used when generating the solicitation for customers. So let's go ahead and run this. And it shouldn't take too long. Just has to go through and verify which customers per the settings. Uh, so I've, at this point, I don't have any customers that fall under the particular criteria. I've made it a little bit too stringent. So I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna go ahead and take off the, well, let's take it up to two months. So current to two months. And let's take that, say, last five payments back. And if their due day is, say, the 8th, which is three days from now, to the 28th. Make that range a little larger. And let's also make the amount they get back possibility a little bit higher. So $200, $800. You know, this demo uh, version of software may not have enough customers to fall under the, these particular criteria. So let's save this and run it again and see what we get. All right, so here are the letters that were generated. And we have our company name, this uh, particular customer, Manning, their address, and then uh, they uh, took out a loan for $500, term of eight months, their account number is 9339. Your account is past due, $123.25. We did have it print that. You can receive $262 by refinancing your account now. This offer expires on your next due date. We have another uh, solicitation here. Uh, same thing. And same thing through four pages. So let's go back here. As solicit printed, it, go, it pulls up the PDF, but you, if you've closed it out, you can pull it up again. 
Say OK. Uh, come down, and if we have uh, printed these out, which we can, we can print all these out. Go ahead and close out this page. If we want to reopen it to print them again, just click on the link there, and it will uh, bring it up so you can reprint the solicitation letters again. Let's take a look at the log file. Log file uh, gives some information about um, who. Let's take a look at this. Uh, ledger date that this was run on. Uh, printing letters, printing labels, no. Just some of the settings you had. Uh, print company information all the way down here to minimum, maximum amounts. This log file gives you information about what criteria you used to uh, do your solicitation and then who fell under that solicitation and uh, maybe reasons why. So account number 9127 Wilson, a loan more than 100 to renew too soon. So that's why they were not in the list. Uh, this particular Richard Jr. 7087, a pay to renew not allowed. So if you did your solicitation and you were expecting to have uh, quite a few more customers in that solicitation and you come to your log file, your log file will show you uh, why particular people did not show up in that criteria for solicitation. All the people that didn't show up and why. And a lot of it will be based on limitations you may have set. So if I were to disable this section for only do solicits for credit history, more people would show up. If I uh, didn't do the due date, which is always good to set it at least three days out uh, for mail, uh, that one's a good one to have on. And then if I just open this up for $100 loans up to the max amount, $1,400, then even more people might show up. But the log file will tell you why a particular person that should have shown up didn't per cri the criteria that's been set. So you would print those solicitation letters out. Uh, we had it set for trifold, so three per page to print out. Take them, stuff them in the envelopes, send them out. And then you would have customers uh, more than likely giving you a call, coming in, bringing that letter with them and uh, saying, hey, you know, you solicited me to come in. I, yeah, I definitely like to, you know, get some cash back. I, I know I'm you know, late on my payment, whatever. Or, um, you know, they make their payment or they uh, renew their loan to get more cash back. So this is a really, really good tool under mail for helping to uh, get people in, grow your business, uh, make sure that they come in for, uh, uh, for making their payments too. And that is Mass Solicit. Thank you very much. Exit, exit, exit.